10.15 this morning. In bed with me. Can anyone corroborate that? My brother. We all had breakfast together. Yep, that's right. Porridge and kedgeri. Do you eat kedgeri? When I have to. And after that, we went back to bed, didn't we? Yes. Which means she was nowhere near the storage unit. Well, I have evidence to the contrary. What, like CCTV footage? The cameras weren't switched on. Mm. Well, then, their word against hers, isn't it? Mr Wallace claimed you told him you was going to get even with him. Is that true? I... Um... Well, let me refresh your memory. According to him, you said, I'm going to get my cars back and there's nothing you can do to stop me, you two-bit, slimy little toe rag. I said that. Gosh, I must have been angry. Why? He had my dad's cars. He was threatening to auction them. Instead, they mysteriously disappeared from the storage unit this morning. But she knows nothing about that. I wasn't asking you, sir. How would she know how to drive a car transporter? I said nothing about a transporter. A lot of old motors, they're not going to fit in the back of a transit van, though, are they? Yeah, that's all a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? I honestly don't know anything about any of this. With due respect, your condition, just because you don't remember doesn't mean it didn't happen. Are you going to arrest me? No, no, he can't. He's got no real evidence. Have you? I'll check out the alibi and then be in touch. Enjoy your drinks. See? There's nothing he can do. Well, he can if Pete drops us in it. Look, it's cool. I'll call Pete and tell him to back up our story. It's all good, OK? What was all that about? Uh, uh, can't remember. <laughs> 